Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our last session on the stage on it's Friday, isn't it, Dave? It is Friday, yeah. It's I Friday. Had, to, had to check there. Round of applause for Friday. Woo! That's right. Oh, wow, the novelty yes. of getting people, people love to do Friday that has not worn off. Um, we're on the stage with Pacer. We're very excited. We have uh, the producer, Steve, and the lead gameplay designer, Carlton, on stage with us. Steve's going to be um, driving. Uh, literally driving, but also driving the demo. Yeah. Uh, and the reason, Dave, I like this, because sometimes when we play games on a stream, talking and playing is hard. It is hard. Mate. So I like that they've, uh, there's a uh, division of labor here. Well, often <laughs> with a game like Pacer, just playing well can be you know, a bit more of a challenge. It's probably best. And I think we are going to show off our, not show off our skills. That's the <laughs> wrong way of putting it. But we'll have a go at the end, right? But first, Absolutely. Uh, Steve's going to show us how, how you know, how good you can get at Pacer. No Absolutely. pressure, Steve. Hopefully. I keep, <laughs> Hopefully. I keep building yeah. it yeah. up, Thanks you know. That. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, Carl, if you want to kind of start chatting us through, if people have never seen Pacer before, cool. what are we looking at um, and what does it do? <laughs> so, uh, Pacer is an anti-gravity combat racer, okay. up to 10 players, uh, heavily inspired by sci-fi racing of like, mid-90s, early 2000s, that sure. gritty sci-fi racing. So. Yep. Uh, the early Wipeouts, Late F-Zeros, uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer, and Extreme oh. G. Okay. Uh, those were the racing games okay. to get That's us That's a deep cut. Racing. I like that. That was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, Those got us into racing games. Yeah. yeah. And whilst there was a gap available for it, because we haven't seen much recently, sure. uh, we thought, yes, we can do something inspired by that and include everything that we wanted to see when we used to play. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I see. So what are we being taken into right now? What are we seeing first up? So what we are seeing is uh, one of our latest tracks, really new in Pacer. This is our Sattervold track, based uh, just outside of the Black Forest in Germany. Nice. Uh, this is our attract mode. So it shows you kind of the theme of the track, what you're likely to expect. Uh, you can see our Midas team, one of our racing teams in the game. OK, cool. Uh, because they're the European team, it's a European track. Uh, Their okay. symbols are all over the place. Their sponsors adorn the sides, the billboards. It is their track. Cool. And you said um, that these, the pace is inspired by those kind of uh, late 90s, early 2000s games, mm. and it was a good sort of jumping off point to add, you know, to explore things that those games didn't have. What, what kind of features are, are those that you've, you're like, excited about building upon? Uh, what we included, we we're excited about, is well, we have an online multiplayer, up to okay. 10 players. Uh, we have a full craft customization system in All place. Right. So you can change the way your craft looks. You can add body kits, spoilers, change the skins. You can change how it flies. Wow. So if you have a craft that is almost what you want, uh, but you want it a little faster, or a yep. little more agile, or you want to change how it hovers, how, what its defensive capability is, you can do that. Wow. And we have included two weapons per craft that you choose before you go in. Okay. And even those can be customized as well. Right. So you choose base weapons, you equip behaviors, so you can get more ammunition, more damage, more disruption. Some of the wackier effects of things like gravity or anti-gravity. Okay. So there's a lot. Of, we wanted to evolve a lot on how players interact with each other yeah. in the game. So um, you said there that you choose weapons before you go into the game. Yes. But well, I mean, I I can imagine some people might expect you in other games. You know, you kind of pick them up as you go. Yeah. So what do you think? The kind of uh, why did you choose to do it that way? Why do you want people to, to go in with their kind of loadout? Uh, we want to include a bit more of a strategy element. Yeah. So you choose all of your customizations before you start the race. And you can build your craft based on the track you're going to be on. And your weapons, you choose them so that that is your choice, it is your style. And when you are in the race, you get to only do what you can with what you chose. Right. It is how well can you use the customizations you put in place. And when you're going into a multiplayer race, do you, do you are you able to kind of see what the other uh, players have, you know, how their craft is shaping up, what weapons they've chosen, or is it something that just be, is revealed when you ah. start racing? Uh, you can see the basic weapons that they've chosen. Yeah. You can't see the modifications that they've put in place. So if you see someone has uh, a machine gun equipped, for example, yeah. uh, you know they're going to 
do a lot of damage with a lot of ind smaller shots. Yeah. But you don't know how many shots, how much damage. Right. So it, you know roughly what their capabilities are, but you're not revealing your entire hand that way. Yeah, sure. Can I talk about, um, so if the weapons are, like you said, they're kind of pre-selected, what yep. are we looking at in terms of pickups on the track? So the pickups on the track, there are three of them. Uh, those orange ones are weapon pickups. They will refill the ammunition okay. on your weapons. Yeah. Uh, those two blue arrows that you can see on the inside there are speed pads. Yep. Uh, they'll give you a small boost of speed as you go over. Uh, those purple pads you just saw are shield pads. Gotcha. Um, if you saw at the bottom of the screen, there are two health bars. Yeah. One shield bar, one craft health bar. Yep. And the idea is your shield can be refilled by driving over pads. Yeah. Your health can't. Right. Yeah, I got you. So that is your risk pool. Got can you. you survive until the next shield pad? Right, gotcha. Are you safe with what you have? Steve got a bronze while we were talking there. Are you happy with your performance, Steve? That was uh, that was not a good race. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually harder to play at an angle than you think it is. You know, I'm, I, I completely believe you. And I also say that I was watching quite closely, and towards the end of the second lap, you started really flying. And then when the track divided, you went smack into the barrier. It was like the worst possible uh, It's been a long day. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to be taking us next? Uh, so we're going to Midtown now, uh, and we will go night, so, so you'll see another... These are our variations that he's showing off at the yeah, moment. Yeah. There are four tracks available, but we've included variations on each track. Sure. So each track has a reverse mode, mm -hmm. it has a night mode, and it has a mirrored mode. Yeah. <laughs> and wow. these can be mixed and matched. Okay. So they're toggles. Oh. You put on night mode and reverse mode, you'll race in night reverse mode. Yeah, gotcha, I see what you're saying. So if you really like a circuit or an environment, then there are ways to replay it, give it some more longevity, and really master that circuit. Oh, nice. I'm, do you know how many variations that makes? I have just I've, I've, <laughs> for you on the spot there, I was hoping you might have that. It's 728 <laughs> different races, but uh, uh, you can say no. The, off Someone the top will. of my head, no. Uh, <laughs> okay. I can say but that there lot. are, oh yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of unique variations. We launch with 14 tracks, yeah. oh, wow. with eight variations. Yeah. So that is, I think, over 120 possible tracks oh my combinations wow. in total. That's incredible. So there's a lot and of content day one. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And are those all going to be, uh, you know, you can play all of those against, you know, online. Like any variation can be. Yep. Any variation wow. can be set online for you to play against your friends. So really. I can imagine people maybe having a, a trying to find a weird specialism, you know, like <laughs> I'm really right. good at mirrored night on the, on this particular lap. I mean, was, I can't imagine any, anyone being able to be really good across the board. You know, it'd be very difficult to. Oh, very much so. Because you know, it's not a simple thing to think. Oh, I'm playing a, that track I'm really good at. I'm playing it in mirrored now. I'll just think backwards. Like that. Say that, Dave. The internet gets really good at things. Well, they really do. Really they do. It they sounds. Do. But I think you've thrown down a good gauntlet there yeah, for people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's see what you can do. Let's go, Steve. I want to see this. Uh, is, there, is there a sneaky boost off the line? No. Uh, no, there is not. Okay, ah. right. It's good to know. It's just good to know because I would try and find it. Absolutely. But we've experimented with things like uh, sneaky boosts, like barrel rolls, like side shift. Yeah. And so, like, a lot of them didn't quite work out. Given the style we went for, we wanted like a, a gritty reel. We didn't want something hyper clean or too arcade-like. Yeah. And I say those are design choices. Yes. So they were taken out because it, it threw you out of the experience a bit much. Yeah. We wanted to lend a bit more of a, a sense of rea reality to the whole thing. Yeah. And what is it particularly about like uh, anti gravity racing? It's anti gravity, right? Yes. What is it particularly about anti gravity racing which you think is like, so exciting? As opposed to just, you know, cars. It's weird that it's its own genre, right? It you is. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, there are so exactly. many really good games in this genre. What is it, it that you especially love about it? It's the complete, it's something that is familiar, but is also a little bit other. Yeah. So you can experiment with weird ideas that you just don't get in normal circuits. So yes. you can have circuits that go on their side, that go upside down. Yeah. You can, like in racing, where you have concepts such as racing lines or hitting apexes yeah. when turning left and right. You can do that in anti-gravity with tracks that curve up and outwards. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a very interesting way to twist on something that we're familiar with, and of course you can go really, really fast. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely. I mean, there is that. <laughs> Going really, really fast is, is quite nice, to be fair. Have you got a favourite uh, weapon in the game? Uh... I think my favorite weapon at the moment is our swarm weapon. Right. Uh, it's uh, nice. Uh, so it is about, I think, five or six uh, little shots at default. Yeah. The idea is you fire them at a target, they do a tiny bit of damage when they land. Right. And after a set amount of time, they explode oh, right. and deal a bit more damage. Right. But that set amount of time resets when a new projectile hits the target. Right, okay. So you can fire it all at once and have a big explosion, yeah. or you can space them out, okay. wait for your opponent to use you know, a defensive trick, maybe, and call it with another shot. It, wow. There's a lot of counterplay in them. Should, That's we, a, should we watch Steve really, really just come to the end of the race? And it's been, I've been paying loads <laughs> of attention, it's been tense as heck. Uh, he has now gone into the lead, and this is the end of the third lap. Um, crowd, if, if Steve hangs on. <laughs> Can we give him a big round of applause, please? <laughs> yes. And if he doesn't, maybe also. Also. <laughs> yeah, either way, we're looking for a big round of applause. Uh, oh, my God, it's all over than I thought. You can do it. You can do it, Steve. Go. You can do go, it, Steve. Go. Oh, Yay. Steve. <laughs> Amazing. That was great. That was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Do you know what, Dave? If you and I said... Recovered. We were gonna, yes. <laughs> you, you and Brilliant. I said we were going to have a go at this, and now I'm seeing the guy producing the game struggling to get first place, and I'm thinking, what have we signed up for? Yeah, we may have gone mad, but then also I noticed that we've unfairly named Steve Access here. I know, <laughs> yeah. That's a goal for Access. You're getting us some good times there, Steve. That's good. So, Steve, maybe you could show us one more uh, race. Okay. And then Dave and I will maybe have uh, bravely Absolutely. have a go at setting a, a time on a on a track. Should we oh, do a single I think we'll lap? go to Australia this time. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah nice. fine. Why not? <laughs> uh, maybe this will be a good opportunity for us to talk about some of the modes that are that are, are in Pacer. Cool. So we release with a lot of modes that you'd expect to see in a racing game. Yeah. So standard race. Uh, there's an infinite laps uh, time trial for practice for learning yep, a track. Cool. Uh, because there are weapons, there is a destruction mode in place. Right. Uh, we have elimination. So every 30 or 40 seconds, the last pilot is destroyed, out, no yep. respawning, last pilot wins. Yep. Uh, we have an endurance mode that okay. is all about distance. Oh Get as God. far as you can <laughs> with the shields you have. Oh, uh, okay. But after the first lap of the leader, yes. the health of everyone starts to tick down. Oh, uh, okay. And Whoever's in first place makes more laps. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, health tick oh, becomes a little that's greater. that's fiendish. So it, fiendish one. It encourages everyone to kind of keep up. Yeah. Um, we have a kind of an unusual mode. Okay. We put in a storm mode, right. kind of like Battle Royale racing. Okay. How, does that, that? Yeah. How does that work? <laughs> so it, we have, uh, on the starting grid, there is a drone kind of in the center of the grid. Okay. Uh, there is an electrical storm that covers the entire track. Right. And this drone projects a sphere of safety. Right, yeah. okay. It grows as the game starts, and then as soon as the race starts, the drone is off. Right. The sphere moves oh, with it and no. shrinks. If you're within the, the safe zone, then you're all right. If yeah. you're outside of it, you start to take damage. Gotcha. So oh, you have nice to bit. race keep inside the sphere and force everyone else out of the sphere at the same say, time. I was going to say, it's not just about keeping up with the drone, is it? It's about using your weapons to maybe like shunt people out of that zone. We have a, a unique, uh, diff different twist in our weapons that kind of helps this mode a fair bit. In that uh, usually if you're hit with a weapon, you're slowed down yeah. in a racing game. Ours doesn't do that. The weapons don't slow you down straight away. Okay. Uh, we have what's called impulse. Uh, the uh, weapon hit oh. shoves you to the side. Flash banged. <laughs> That's our flash bang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No damage at all. It just tests you know, uh, your reflexes. Can you remember what was in front yeah. of you a second that ago? Yeah, powerful. Um, but yeah, impulse on weapons, it shoves you sideways. Okay. Of course, um, some weapons have a huge amount by base, some very little, yeah. and you can customize for it. But the idea is if uh, the, your target is on a corner, or particularly close to a wall, yeah. then your weapon becomes more effective. Yeah. As if you time it right, you knock them off their race line, or yeah, you knock yeah. them into a wall and yeah. they slow down a little more. And also, if you're on the receiving end, you can counter steer. You can use a defensive right. weapon to protect from the impulse. So, right, okay. if you're being hit, there are still options available to you. 
right. And uh, that's quite an interesting choice, I think. Like most people would think weapons, they would think damage, and obviously there is a, a health uh, bar. So yeah. what was the choice there, where you thought we don't want the weapons to be so damaging, but more kind of testing people's reactions and things like that? Uh, the choice was made quite early on. Uh, it was an interesting question, and in the like, in the game, in the style of game. The idea was, can you make a weapon fun to be hit by? Right. <laughs> it's a weird concept. It is. Yeah, but definitely. It's a weird question to ask. But we think we have been able to do this by introducing you know, defensive options that are skill-based or based on your strategy when you went into the race. Yeah. And can you talk about any of those defensive options? What kind of counter weapons do you have? Or how, do they, how do they help you? I've just, so I've just put one on. We have... <laughs> We have, um, so your mine, you can hold that behind the ship. Yep. Uh, it will take uh, a direct hit from behind. Yep. Of course, the mine explodes. There is some damage to you. Right. Of course, if you drop it yep. in with good timing, yep. it will explode further behind you. Uh, we have a tank in the game. Okay. It provides a protective shield that will take all damage and all weapon impulse from a single hit. Right. And of course, uh, you can customize that for extra layers. Yeah. But of course, if you take that, you forego an offensive option. Right. If opponents ah. all have cannons that do very little damage but have a lot of shots, your tank becomes less effective. Right. And are all these um, kind of weapons uh, available from the start of the game? Do you unlock them as you play? So all of the base weapons are available from the start of the game. Yeah. Uh, as you play, you earn tech credits based on your performance. Okay. Uh, not just in racing, but there are bonuses for destroying other craft, for completing laps without touching the sides. Yep. Whatever your style is, there are rewards for it. And you unlock customizations as you play. Right. Uh, each customization has uh, a bonus that you want and some penalty that you need to manage. Okay. So we don't want to say there is a best way to do it. This is the way. Yeah. It is your style of play, whatever you want, you can do it. Can you manage that skillfully? Yeah. And how, what kind of style of play do you tend to go for? What's your personal? Uh, I tend to be quite aggressive and fast. OK. So it... That sounds good. I would like to be <laughs> thought of as aggressive and fast. I, I like to think of myself <laughs> as aggressive and fast as well. <laughs> All it means is I'm a target a lot. Right, OK. <laughs> Fair enough. And what kind of uh, loadout has Steve got? Do you know? How would we describe? How would you describe this? Uh, or do you know Steve's style of play? I'm not expecting you to answer, Steve. You just fly. <laughs> what have you done, Dave? No, I wasn't asking Steve. I'm sorry. It was Carl. No. That was one for you. There's about 20 seconds left. <laughs> style of play is late recovery. Late recovery. Yes. He'll stay in the middle of the recovery. pack. He won't be a target for half of them, and uh, then at the last oh. minute, he just comes straight through the. Group. Well, this is a test of that so now. He'll it's... boost. He'll take things for high acceleration, they'll take things for better boost, and he will put into the test and... Uh, it's a good almost. race. Only good race. Almost. 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 Thank you. Dave, good. I think if we're quick, we've just got enough time <laughs> okay. to have a go. Can we do a single lap each? Is there a, a time trial mode? Uh, yes, yeah. there is a time trial mode. Let's it's infinite laps on any track you like, okay, and it will save your best lap each time. Magic. So if you make a lap, it will record your time. Okay. okay. And then you pass the controller to the other player. And Hot. they can complete two laps. Cool. And you'll see who's best. Let's okay. do it, Dave. What do I need to know control wise then? I see, I see I'm going first, Nathan. I, I'll go first <laughs> if you like, Dave. I'm You're not the guinea pig. No, You're, You're, the <laughs> You're the canary in the mine. Okay, so. So it will be X to accelerate. Yep. Uh, it will be deep left D pad or thumb stick to turn and pitch. Okay. Uh, the air brakes, uh, like hard turns or drifts, yep. they are on your triggers, okay. left and right. Yeah. Uh, there are no weapons in time trial, okay. so don't That's need good. those. And there is a turbo on the square button. Okay. Right. You okay. see a bar at the bottom of the screen that shows you how much you have. It will build as you race and refill when you cross the start line. Okay, brilliant. And which track do you recommend? Which... I would recommend the Indian track, Sanashahar. Sanashahar. Yeah. That's your heart. Just, That's just vanilla. Uh, vanilla. I would version. take reverse. You would. Yes. Okay. Really. <laughs> Sanashahar reverse. Ooh. Okay. It, it's and a wide track. Let's just uh, go vixen. Let's go vixen. Vixen. Uh, yep. That's our balance craft. That's our all rounder. Okay. Good for newcomers. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go straight ahead here. Good luck, Dave. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Good luck. 
So our second lap is the one that's going to count. Unless your first one is quicker, obviously. <laughs> my, what do you mean my second lap is going to count? Uh, we, well, you've we got your, your test here. opening lap, and then you're on it. OK. Oh, yeah. you're going to give me an opening lap? OK, fine. Yeah, yeah nice. Nice, thank you. It's very we cool. may run out of time before okay. that happens. We'll see. Uh, your no average lap time would be about a minute five or a minute ten. OK, maybe we get one lap each, Dave. Maybe that's what's going right. to happen. We'll uh, maybe a lap and a half, so you're not... He doesn't hand you the controller, and you're wasting time whilst I, you're over I, the yeah, start Yeah, I line. see what you're saying, yeah. Yes. OK, and this is me, no more talking from me now, sorry. <laughs> it's quite all right, concentrate. Yeah. If, please Focus. feel free to chip in with any uh, advice. Hit the walls. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> apex to apex. Apex to apex. Apex to yeah. apex. I don't even know what that means. Your boost right is better going downhill. Oh, that's a good, that's a good. What's better going downhill, sir? Boost, boost, OK. Enjoy I don't know the I'm scenery. You. Boost now, Dave. <laughs> I did. <laughs> They seem oh, quite well like right. this. Tapping the air brakes to try and swing your tail into a nice position, that's good. OK. Double boost, double boost. Yeah, if you go between the two boost pads, then you'll get a double boost. Just in between. Oh, wow. yeah. You ah, can pick up more than one hello. boost at once. I should have asked all this before. Something else for me to worry okay. about. It's, it's a lot to pay attention to this and to race at the same time. Oh, dear. How's my boost doing? OK. Well, oh, you are doing well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, this, no. is, this is the tricky what technical section. Yeah, this is the hard when part. You go, when you're going in quick, you want to turn in early so that you're actually clipping the inside apex. Got you. It's all up here. And Thanks. boost on the way out. Mr. Boost. There it is. So okay, here we go. You carry on here. If one you minute, 15. Oh, well, press there's your ghost. <laughs> right. I thought I was just doing the one lap, and I've got confused. Uh, right. Lap and a half. Lap and a half. So and I'll take the over. time spent exchanging the controllers doesn't count against okay. Nathan. We are technically in overtime. Technically in overtime. OK, we're in overtime. Oh, that was a nice turn. Oh, like that's that. good. You've got the hang of that turn really like well. That. Oh no, indecision. Double boosts, there it is. Oh, almost. So you can see in the upper right, there was um, a, a green bar that shows a split time. The time oh, is okay. recorded in sections of three around the track. So you can see how well you're doing in individual sections oh, as well as overall. My bad. Can I take over now, Dave? Yep. Pass the okay. controller. Go on then. Right, so what's what's go? And good <laughs> luck. Almost at the complete what's the X. Okay, I was pressing R R two. And what's air brake? Oh, no. Sorry. R two uh, and L two. R two and L two. Okay, I got it. As in left and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Wish me luck, everybody. Okay, good luck. Thanks, Dave. Really I hard. Why, why am I really wishing you luck? I don't know. No one else <laughs> did. That's why. Have luck. What, so what are we looking at? 115 is my best yeah. lap. 115 is your best lap. That's the one to beat. beat. That is a distinctly average time, Nathan. I think you, you th can You have no do idea if it's a distinctly average time. I do. Carlton Oh, I've tipped the wall. <laughs> is oh, that you? Is that coach. you? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't like this. There's me zooming ahead. No. Come back, Dave. Don't be distracted <laughs> by my ghost. And how well you did with your <laughs> ghost. Oh, he's oh. No, no, no. I don't like to see that. I don't like to see that. Oh, no. Honestly, it is quite distracting. No, it's if not. I, if I lose, hey. that's why. It's only because you know it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's why, well, of course it is. You were all over the place here, and I think maybe... <gasps> oh, I got a double one there, but you're going to get that one. You're going to go... Hur -hur -hur. Are you able to download ghosts from uh, friends or anyone on the, in the game? Uh, we don't have that available, I'm afraid. Fair enough. Uh, though, when you are in the multiplayer, we have the option to turn off weapons and collisions between craft. Ah, so oh. you can race with oh, no, people I've got too early, Dave. I've got too early. Live. Oh, I tried it. I risked it. Oh, that's oh, close. I think he's going to be all right. I think he's. No. Going. He's got five he's seconds. He's there. Can he do Run it? He's there. Three, ah. two, <gasps> oh, oh my God! Oh. <laughs> I got Round to see you doing that. It's definitely, it's definitely not fair. I did get to see you <laughs> place. Well played. Oh, can you? Uh, I can't sign, sign us off. We've gone over time. Sorry for, for taking you over time, guys. Steve uh, and, and Carlton, thank you so much for coming on stage and showing us Pacer. Um, it looks amazing. It looks much better in your hands, Steve, right. to be honest. <laughs> and it sounds incredibly fun as well. Like uh, I'm really interested in this, this um, 
the mode with the storm. That with the storm. <laughs> I have the storm. Very, it's battle royale mode. Dave, uh, what have we got coming up tomorrow? We've Can got you so remember? much, Nath. Do you know, the main thing tomorrow is you and Rob are playing FIFA, professional FIFA players is live on this stage. Yes, is it is. Tomorrow? That's crept oh, no, up. No, I don't feel prepared uh, for that. We've got, we've got loads more, and you can uh, you can check out on the channel what we have coming up tomorrow. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, especially everybody here who stayed with us right to the end. It really means a lot that you stay and watch all of uh, all the games and everything on the stage. It's great to see you all. Uh, make sure you're here for the rest of the weekend and uh, stop us and say hi if you have the chance. Uh, other, otherwise, go and have a lovely evening uh, and we will try and do the same and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. See you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for having us, chaps. For the players.